Hi, I'm Alex L., and I write books for a living. The Hey Girl podcast was created with sisterhood and storytelling in mind. Hey girl. Hey girl. Hey girl. Hey girl. <laughs> I'll be sitting down with some phenomenal women to discuss love. I believe we grew distant out of love of some type. Like, yeah. I don't want to hurt you. Loss. Really don't know what's going to trigger that feeling right. of grief in any moment. And a topic very important to my work self-care. Freedom is self-care. It's not about pedicures. It's not about clothing. It's not about trips. Join us as we journey through sharing together. In this episode, I'm sitting down again with my oldest girl, who is now 11 years old, Charlie. She joined me in the studio um, and we had a fun time again. She's great and it's been amazing watching her grow into the young woman that she is. She calls herself officially a preteen now. So me and Ryan better watch out. I hope you enjoy our little chat. And from my family to yours, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. (laughs) What's so funny? I don't know. I just had the giggles today. Charlie, it's so good to have you on the show again. Oh, hello. Hi. So you turned 11 yesterday. Mm-hmm. How does it feel? The same. Yeah? yeah? Nothing feels new? You didn't wake up with this newfound 11 freedom? No. <laughs> it just feels the same. Yeah? Yeah. Um. So, okay, give us the rundown about your birthday, because me and Papa tried to make it special. So it what awful. did we do for your birthday starting on last Friday. Okay. So we went to one of my favorite rappers concert, Toby Mm Negway. It was awesome. And then on Sunday, my friend, my best friend, Samia took me to um, the movies and she got me some, um, some, some candy. Yeah. She got me candy and slippers, but the slippers didn't fit. Yeah. That was nice. And then yesterday on Monday, you guys took me to this awesome air, awesome Airbnb thing. It was like an Airbnb, right? It wasn't an Airbnb, but it was kind of like an Airbnb. Yeah, and it was so cool. <laughs> it was I got very to sleep cool. in a loft, and I had a big flat screen TV in there, <laughs> and it was awesome. And it was a smart house. Yeah. So describe like what every like how everything worked when we got in there. Basically. Just iPads and um, remotes and stuff, so that was fun. So what did the iPad control? It controlled the lighting, and it controlled the shades and the blinds that went up and down, and you can control, like, like where you wanted the blinds to stop at to yeah. get a certain amount of light, and it was really cool. That was pretty awesome. What else did we do? Um, this morning, we walked over to... A cute cafe. Oh yeah. On H Street, mm-hmm. and had bagels, bagel sandwiches. Yeah. Good times. Mm-hmm. Were you super surprised? Yes. Yeah. Because <laughs> when we first pulled up, I saw a cupcake on like a window, so I was like, "Oh, we're gonna go get cupcakes or something mm-hmm. like that." Then we went in, and I was like, "Wait, what are we doing?" <laughs> Wait, are we sitting and I at a cupcake shop? Or something? <laughs> I was so confused. And then I was like, whoa, when we walked in. I it know. was so cool. It's really awesome. And then Auntie Ajo came over with cupcakes for it was you. so delicious. Yeah, we had a good time. Mm-hmm. So you're in fifth grade. Mm-hmm. You're 11. Mm-hmm. You're going to middle school next year. Mm-hmm. Give me five things that you've learned about being a leader so far in fifth mm-hmm. grade. One thing is to be yourself and do what you want to do and, like, not follow other people. And um, if somebody's doing something that you don't feel comfortable with or they are doing something that's, like, not really good, Mm -hmm. you should, like, separate yourself and do something that you want to do or go hang with some other people that... Yeah. What else have you learned? Kind of about... You know, you have all these different interests now. You're mm-hmm. really getting good with your drawing. And what makes you, what keeps you focused on the things that you like in and out of school? So mm-hmm. your art, which you've gotten really good at. But let's talk about the art first. Okay. So I want to become really good at realistic drawings. Mm-hmm. Um, not really like still life and stuff, but of people. 
I want to do realistic and like sort of cartoon style drawings. And I watched this YouTuber called Drawing with Waffles, and she's like my favorite artist now. Mm -hmm. I love her. And um, she does really good drawings and unboxings and like does reviews on which um, like she would, um, what, what's the word? Recommend. Mm -hmm. She would recommend different art supplies and tools that she would use for her art. Mm -hmm. And she like inspires me to um, try different styles of art and try to keep moving forward because she said that it's really hard at first. She's been doing art for a really, really long time. Mm -hmm. So whenever I look at my art and I'm like, eh, I don't really like it. So I think I can also change it, but I also have to keep in mind that um, that it won't be good the first time around. Mm -hmm. And I have to keep trying. Keep trying. Keep pressing forward, even when things aren't perfect the first time around. Mm -hmm. What else have you been into this year? As we wrap up 2018, what are some of your favorite things that you've been up to this year? So we, we um, as you know, we're doing a health project mm -hmm. in, in school, and I think that's really fun. I think we should do more things like that because you're making a skit mm -hmm. of, like, so each group has a different type of health, it, not issue, but, like, something that keeps you healthy, like sleep. Mm -hmm. My group is sleep, and you have to make a skit or, like, a slideshow to represent or say what's important about sleep. Mm -hmm. And so me and my group were making a skit, and it's, like, been really fun trying to get all the different scenes and working on it together and it's been really fun planning it out so I think we should do more things like that yeah mm -hmm. that's awesome okay well thank you so much You're for welcome. being on the show really quickly with me anything you want to share before we go elementary school kids listening what are some words of inspiration that you'd offer follow your like your own lifestyle I guess like if do what you choose to do before you go, I want you to stay tuned. I have some special announcements that I think you'd like to hear. Hey y'all, it's Alex, and I want to talk to you about my intentions for 2019, but also a new project that I am debuting at the top of the year. So I stopped making goals altogether a few years ago. And instead, Ryan and I sit down and we write our intentions of the year. Intentions just feels a little better for us. There, it, there isn't any stipulation on like getting to the end goal. It's just moving through what we intend to do over the year. And if it doesn't happen, it's fine. But if it does, that's a bonus. So one of my intentions for 2019 is to do more personal writing practice, getting up earlier, diving into my creative writing, um, not for a book manuscript and not for social media sharing, but really just for me. So that is an intention that I am looking forward to taking with me and diving deeper into M my writing practice suffers sometimes because of work and because I do this for a living. But in 2019, I am going to get better at my personal writing practice. Also, for those of you wanting to do the same, my new journal, Today I Affirm, a journal that nurtures self-care, debuts on the first of the year. And I'm going to be having a journal challenge just for us folks who want to Figure out a way to write better, write more truthfully, and find our own self-care practice through putting pen to paper. So if you are interested in joining me in that personal writing challenge, you can head over to alexl.com slash books and pre-order Today I Affirm there. I'm also really excited about this project because I want it to be a bestseller in guided journals. We were able to make that happen a few days ago, and I want that spot back because more people need to know that they have options when it comes to their writing practice. So again, that's alexl.com slash books for Today I Affirm, and I hope you join me in setting the new year, new us intention of finding our voice through writing. The Hey Girl Podcast is a member of The District Productive, produced by Paul, Woody Woodhall, and me, Alex L. 
Music by DC's own Kokai. Kokai.